Welcome to the Physics Laboratory. I am Dr. N. Satya Priya, Assistant Professor of Physics, working from Middle East of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Uh, now I am going to explain the experiment the name is Ultrasonic Interferometer, Determination of the Velocity of Sound and Compressibility of the Compressibility of Human Liquid. So here they are given liquid as a water. So uh, in this liquid we are using this ultrasonic interferometer. Three things we have to find out. What are three things mean? A wavelength, velocity, and capacity. This is the formula for the ultrasonic interferometer. The uh, first uh, formula is wavelength of ultrasonic rays lambda equal to 2d by n. So I will explain later for this uh, expansion. Next one is the velocity of the ultrasonic rays in the given liquid v equal to n lambda. Unit is meter per second. And the uh, last one is compressibility of the given liquid k equal to 1 by v square rho. Uh, unit is meter square per Newton. Yes, uh, now we are going to explain the experimental procedure. So, this equipment uh, is uh, name is ultrasonic interferometer and uh, here having the frequency value is 2 MHz and here having to uh, gain an adjustment of the we have to give the value for the current 42, 16 which we have that is a, this uh, deflection we have to keep and next one is uh, this one is a generator. This one is a generator, it's a measuring shell. And also ever you have to fix the micrometer. This is a micrometer as like a uh, which one uh, it is a screw gush. And uh, one more thing is uh, this experiment behind the principle is inverse piezoelectric effect. So why it is a uh, inverse piezoelectric effect mean? Yes, the current is passing through the crystal. So piezoelectric crystal means it's a quartz crystal or a diamond. Here it is also having one diamond crystal is there. So the current is passing through the crystal for the one pair of the side. Other opposite side they are producing a ultrasonic waves or a, a standing waves. So it is also the same thing. The current is passing through the one pair and other side they are producing the standing waves. See one more thing is, yeah, this one is a measuring shell. Uh, here filled with the water. This measuring shell is filled with the water. This water we take and uh, filled with in a measuring shell and closed by using one obstacle. It is nothing but yes, it is a micrometer. So it is very simple. Just you switch on. Just you switch on this uh, ultrasonic interferometer. At the time is yes, already I told 4260. We have to keep and uh, we got the deflections and the initial yeah this one is the and the next one this is a regulation to find the velocity of ultrasonic rays in a given liquid so already i told this one is uh, water and uh, next one uh, this is a least form for the 0 0.01 micrometer that, uh, that is a uh, millimeter uh, this one is a screw as like a screw gauge having the least form is millimeter yes the first one initial you have to uh, keep the value is 25 and this is not an accurate design, approximately 25 and 45. So here you have to keep 25 and 45. 45 at the time is 25 and 45. First value you have to keep and next one uh, if you are given uh, if you are given the rotation. See you have to given the rotation from here, yes. At the same time you get one oscillation. And uh, second you have to given the one more rotation, you get another oscillation. Yes, it is a third oscillation and uh, so you have to give the another rotation, you have to get the oscillation and the final also you have to give the fifth uh, rotation and fifth oscillation we get. So now we are see the reading, it is uh, almost 23, so this, yes, it is 23 and 38, yes. So this is a way you have to take the reading for n and n plus y and plus n, each time you have to give the five rotation, at the time you get the five oscillations. So all the things we have to uh, know which one is carried out in the reading for the this regulation. Yes, uh, number of oscillation. Uh, the next one is a reading for the uh, which one is measuring shell. And next one, how to do the calculation. That is a uh, D. Next we have to find the D. How you find the D? It is very simple. Yes, uh, if you have to subtract from the previous equation, previous reading from this reading. So this is the point one seven. And it's also the same thing. Yeah, it is subtracting from the one reading to another reading. We get the value. It is all the values are uh, approximately only. Next one, two d. This value we have to multiply it by two, and we have to get the value. Next one is a lambda. Yes, uh, this one I told from the previous. This formula lambda. 
lambda that is equal to 2d by n. So 2 and 3 is nothing but the difference from the 180 to, uh, 180 to 2d by n. And n is nothing but each time nothing but the 5 oscillations. Na? So n bar is 5. And uh, we have to take the all the readings and finally we have to take the mean. So it is a lambda. So this is the way we have to find the wavelength of ultrasonic waves in the given liquid that is equal to what value that you can write from the calculation. Next one is the velocity of ultrasonic waves in the given liquid. Yes, what is the formula mean? V equal to n lambda. Already I told from the n values to megahertz. So um, 2 is 10 to the power of 6 megahertz and then already we found the value for lambda. So this way you have to find the velocity value. Next one is the compressivity of the given liquid. So how you find the compressivity mean? Already I told from the uh, formula 1 by e square rho. The v already we found from the velocity. So v square it is a rho. Rho means it is the density of the given liquid. Here, here they are given the liquid is a water. Water having a density value is 1000. So this is the way you have to find the compressivity of the given liquid. So we, by using the ultrasonic interferometer, they are given the uh, liquid as a water, we have to find the uh, wavelength, velocity and the compressibility by using the ultrasonic interferometer X. That is the equipment. Thank you. Thank you so much.